wife said, ring the insurance company, they might cover the last vet bill, because you know, Charlie had to be put down, sadly. So I rang the, the lady, and I said, listen, the dog is no longer with us, uh, can you cover the vet bill? And she said, no, it's uh, to do with the excess in the policy. I said, no problem, can I go ahead and cancel the policy? She goes, absolutely, but can I ask why you want to cancel the policy? <laughs> and I thought, well, we both chatted about it and thought it would be overly cautious to continue to insure a dog that had died at four o'clock this afternoon. But I didn't say that. I said, as I said, the dog was no longer with us. And she said, did he die or did he run away? Because if he ran away, we cover that. And I went, well, then he ran away then, isn't he? Well, the person in the room wouldn't have said that. Why did he run away? I said, I don't know. I couldn't read his note. <laughs> she goes, I have to put down something. I said, put down fireworks. She goes, we don't normally have fireworks in May. I said, it came as a shock to the dog as well. <laughs> she goes, how long is he gone? I said, uh, two days. She goes, that's not very long. I said, it's two weeks to a dog. Will you help me? Come work with me. She goes, what was the purchase price of the dog? Now, I, we didn't pay for him, we, we fostered him, which is what you probably should do. So I had to play for time, because I was trying to defraud an insurance company. <laughs> I said, uh, I can't remember how much he was. I do remember how happy he was to see us through the pet shop window. <laughs> and this woman, I swear to God, said, I do have to ask. I went, oh my God, she's going to. How much? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs>